Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Calvin Johnson. In this video, I'm going to show you how to resolve a situation whereby you try to join a Windows 10 device to a domain environment and you receive the error message that says ensure that the domain name is typed correctly or it's an active domain contract for the domain could not be contacted. So there are actually different scenario why you are receiving this error message. So let me just click cancel. So I may even try to say, okay, first of all, what I need to do is this is my domain controller here. And I'm going to, let me just cancel this. I'm going to enter IP config and then do all. So here you can see that this is my domain name. And this is the IP address of my domain server, my domain controller. So first of all, I will try to actually ping my domain controller from this device to see if the device, if my domain server is accessible. So let me just go to my command prompt and then ping 192.168.245.132. So if I try to ping that server, you can see that the server is accessible. And if I try to ping the server on its host name, let me see. You can see that I can as well ping the server on its host name. So right now, and if I, let me just clear the screen and do IP config here. You can see that this um, Windows 10 actually does not belong to a domain and is um, just actually on a standalone um, work group and not on a domain environment. So if I see, this is the W004, and the IP address is actually um, here, which is 135. So they all belong actually to the same um, domain group, which means that they have the same IP address range. So that's why I'm able to ping the server. So if I just try to ping the, the workstation from this server, 92.168.245.132, here you can see that I'm able to ping this device. So why am I still not able to join this device to that to that server? So the problem is actually may lie somewhere. Here we can actually, if I go down, I can see that my DNS um, host name is actually the 192.168.245.2, which is actually my um, router's DNS server. So which means that this domain, this Windows 10, was not able to actually contact this server or resolve it which is dns um, ip address so what i need to do is i will need to actually go to the control panel so let me just go to the control panel and go to my network and sharing center and here let me just click on my internet network card and go to properties and check yeah, I have a property. I have actually configured this to be a static IP address because this, this is actually a test environment. So you can see that the preferred DNS server is just two, which is actually belongs to the router and not to the DNS of this domain. So what I need to do is I will need to enter the DNS of that domain and then enter an alternative DNS, which should actually give this workstation access to the internet as well two and then okay and then let me click close 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 so if we try to actually assess let me just try to uh, let me go to this command prompt again and here if i enter config all and here you can see that we have um, two dns server so this is the first one and there's the second one so let me just take this down. So let me try to actually read this again. And here you can see I can enter my uh, my name to actually join this workstation to a domain. So to actually enter, enter a domain admin name and a password. And then click OK. So it's trying to contact the server. And you can see now, right now I'm able to join this workstation to the domain. So I'm going to click OK. Yeah. And it says I must restart my device to actually make this change complete. So I'm going to click OK. OK. And I'm going to restart now. So if I go to my domain controller, 
activity and go to my active directory and the first of all if you join a device to a domain the device will be actually listed here you can see that the w004 which i'm trying to restart now has just been enabled here so if i restart now then from here then you can move this device to actually to the right but you can actually configure there's a powershell script which you can actually configure on your domain server to actually redirect a pc um, a workstation or any client you added to the domain to it um, to an organization unit automatically without you doing that manually but if you have different organization unit i think you will need to do that manually and now the device is being restarted and then i can actually log on to that device using my domain um, account thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video my name is kelvin johnson and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more it related video and also if you think this video has been of any help to you don't forget to also leave a comment and give me a thumb up for taking my time to create this video thank you very much and hope to see you next time bye